ratios in similar polygons. Our objective is to identify similar polygons, as well as apply properties of similar polygons to solve problems. Why learn this? Similar polygons are used to build models of actual objects. Let's look at some vocabulary. Similar, have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. Similar polygons have corresponding angles that are congruent, and their corresponding sides are proportional. A similarity ratio is the ratio of the lengths of the corresponding sides of two similar polygons. Let's look at how to write these. Triangle 1 is similar to triangle 2. So we would write that as triangle 1 with a singular squiggle, triangle 2. Triangle 1 is not similar to triangle 3. So triangle 1 is not similar to triangle 3. Very similar to not equal, where you threw a line through it. Same thing here. Throw a line through it and it's not similar. Here's an example of similar polygons. Notice your corresponding angles are congruent, and then your corresponding sides are proportional. They'll give you a half when you reduce them. Therefore, ABCD is similar to EFGH. Let's try identifying pairs of congruent angles and corresponding sides. Let's start with congruent angles. Okay, so we have angle R is congruent to angle Z. Angle Q is congruent to angle Y. And using the third angles theorem, we have angle S is congruent to angle X. Well, that covers congruent angles. Now we need corresponding sides. So we have XY over SQ equals 6 over 9, which reduces to 2 thirds. We have YZ over QR, which gives us 12 over 18, which also reduces to 2 thirds. And our third side. We have XZ over SR equals 9 over 13.5, which gives us 2 thirds. So that covers congruent angles and then corresponding sides. Let's identify similar polygons. Determine whether the polygons are similar. If so, write the similarity ratio and a st similarity statement. We have rectangles PQRS and TUVW. Well, since they're both rectangles, we know that all their angles are 90 degrees. So we know angle P is congruent to angle T. Angle Q is congruent to angle U. Angle R is congruent to angle V, and angle S is congruent to angle W. All right, so we have congruent angles. That was the first step to figuring out if something was similar. The next piece was to see if the sides are proportional. So let's look at PQ over TU, which is 12 over 16, which gives us 3 fourths. And then we have PS over TW, which is 4 over 6, which reduces to 2 thirds. 3 fourths and 2 thirds are not the same, so therefore PQRS is not similar to TUVW. Try this next one on your own, and then we will try it together. Now that you've had a moment to try it on your own, let's try it together. We know that angle A is congruent to angle D. Angle B is congruent to angle E. 
and then angle C is congruent to angle F by the third angles theorem. And now let's look at our side measures. We have AB over DE equals 20 over 15, which is 4 thirds. Then we have BC over EF, which is equal to 24 over 18, which gives you 4 thirds as well. And we have AC over DF, which is 16 over 12, which is also 4 thirds. So in this case, triangle ABC is in fact similar to triangle DEF. Let's look at a real world application. A rail box box car can be used to transport auto parts. If the length of the actual box car is 50 feet and the width of the actual box car to the nearest tenth of a foot. So we want to find out the width. Let X be the width of the actual box car in feet. The rectangular model of the box car is similar to the rectangular box car, so the corresponding lengths are proportional. So we can set it up as length of the box car, length of the model, equals width of the box car over width of the model. To do so, let's fill our stuff in. So we have 50 over 7 equals x over 2. And then we cross multiply, so we have 50 times 2 which is 100, and then we have 7 times x, which is simply 7x, and to solve for x, we divide by 7 on both sides. So x is about equal to 14.3, and since we're dealing with feet of a regular boxcar, we have 14.3 feet. And that concludes our lesson on ratios in similar polygons.